ridiculous and shameful display of whining by the U.S. government, Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Martin Dempsey has said that whistleblower Edward Snowden, the man who leaked the classified U.S. documents to the public containing damning evidence that the U.S. government was spying on its citizens and allies, claims that it undermined U.S. relationships with other countries and affected what he called the importance of trust. Now, first of all, um, this is again just a, just again the U.S. government whining like a little kid, you know, going where, where they're being mean to me, just like a bully on the playground crying to the teacher that the person they were bullying was being mean to them. That's really what the U.S. government's doing. Speaking with the State of the Union, a popular segment on America's cable news network or CNN. Dempsey's, Dempsey said that Snowden's leaks set us back temporarily, but we will work our way back. <laughs> I'm sorry, this just make this whole thing just makes me laugh. I'm sorry, but no, just no, Mr. Dempsey, and to the U.S. government also, no, just no. Snowden is not the reason for the U.S. government having strained relations with the world which pretty much already a third of the world hated us before and now pretty much the rest of the world hates us now too because of what you did and the US government is trying to blame Snowden for this it's not Snowden's fault the US government is responsible for its own actions they knew this and started this when they start when they decided to spy on its own people and you know the people it called friends and allies I mean, it's simple logic. I mean, for let's just break it down, for example. If I have a lot of friends and family, which of course I do, and I suddenly start planting bugs and cameras and other devices and spy on their every move of every single day, before long, I'm going to get caught. It could be in a few days, a few years, a few, a few days, a few weeks, a few months, even years, as far, like the U.S. government has. But eventually, I'm going to get caught, and I'm probably not going to have many friends anymore, and I'll probably have lots of angry family members. So, what does the U.S. government think was going to happen? I mean, it's so easy to blame the family member or friend that caught me and told, every, and told everybody, but in the end, it's nobody's fault but my own. The same applies here. It's so easy to blame the man that leaked this to the public, which shows, which should have already been widely known anyway, but it was just being confirmed. But in the end, the U.S. government can, can and should only be blaming themselves and just admit they screwed up. Although we all know that's probably not going to happen. If you really want to look for someone to blame, the only, then the U.S. government need only look in the mirror. Now, in addition, the U.S. is plotting to strike up trade agreements with nations giving Snowden asylum, that is, nations such as Ecuador, Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Bolivia. In other words, the U.S. government is going to force their totalitarian imperialist regime down the throats of, of mainly Bolivarian revolutionist countries, and that if they don't comply with U.S. interests and give them Snowden, they will cut off humanitarian, economic, and other forms of aid and label said countries as terrorist states, hostile and aggressive, and dictatorships, and as well as enemies of the state. A typical move by governments that have, resor that have resorted so far to fascism that they will use any means they can to try and get their way, or as the U.S. government put it, to send a clear message that we won't put up with this kind of behavior. Which, once again, is no more than, where, where, they're being mean to me. That's, that's what the government sounds like. However, with shaky relations with these countries, I find it extremely difficult to believe that they will just easily give in to U.S. imperialism, if at all. And if they do, then they're basically reactionary. Ecuador recently just rejected $23 million in U.S. aid and instead offered up the same $23 million to the U.S. for 
human rights programs, which I find just extremely hilarious. Given it, it essentially flipped the U.S. government a big middle finger, or in my case, if they're like me, two. Um, Venezuela, which is already on shaky ground with the U.S., seems unlikely to bend either as Nicolas Maduro and the people of the Bolivarian Revolution continue the work of Chavismo, as well as being friendly towards Snowden. And after the invasion of Bol uh, Bol uh, the Bolivian president Evo Morales' plane last week in Vienna, Austria, in an effort to, fi to find Snowden, which he, he wasn't even on board anyway, it seems unlikely Bolivia would be very happy with the U.S. or wanting to bend to their wishes. Not only that, Bolivia is also a Bolivarian revolutionist country. Um, in addition to that, too, Russian President Vladimir Putin also, who I don't really care for or agree with, but for once I kind of liked him for this short instance, because he verbally flipped the bird to the U.S. by calling the hunt for Snowden and the accusations about Russia nonsense and rubbish. In other words, he was like, fuck you. The U.S. government is essentially exhausting all taxpayer resources in a fight they cannot win, or at least cannot easily win, and one that will be fought by every whistleblower, activist, and country loyal to Snowden and pissed off over the U.S. intrusion of their privacy. The North Fire government of the United States needs to understand and get it through their shit for brain heads that when they try to deceive and manipulate the people and the world, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act, and the revolution is growing and cannot be stopped. The voice of revolution will always clash with the voice of fascism, and revolution shall prevail. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and a big supporter of Snowden, Bradley Manning, and Julian Assange, and Jeremy Hammond, and other anonymous and non-anonymous activists, and this has been NorCal Corner. Free Snowden. Peace.